Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. As many of you probably know, many of us have been doing videos on the new generative fill that's found in the beta version of Photoshop. Well, recently I've been getting some emails from photographers asking me how they could use the beta version of Photoshop as a Lightroom plugin. So in today's very quick video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, typically, if you want to send an image into Photoshop from Lightroom, you could hit Command or Control E on your computer, or you could go right click and then go to Edit In and over to Adobe Photoshop. But by default, it's going to use the current version of Photoshop, not the beta version. If you want to use the beta version, what you need to do is go up to Lightroom Preferences or Settings. On a Mac, Settings is under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, Preferences is under the Edit menu. Open up Settings. You'll get the Preference dialog. Go to the third tab from the left, External Editing. At the very top, it says Photoshop Version. Click that drop down, and you'll want to use the Adobe Photoshop Beta. That's all you need to do is do that. Now, when you hit Command or Control E, or right click on the in, uh, image and go down to edit in, you'll get the beta version. You can see it says beta there. Now, unfortunately, you cannot toggle between the two very easily. You have to go to settings or preferences each time and change it to the version of Photoshop you want to use as a plugin. But that's how you do it. Now, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, there is a beta version of Photoshop that's available to all Creative Cloud subscribers. And with the beta version, you get a lot of new features that aren't fully tested yet. One of those features is generative fill. I've done two videos on it, and I know a lot of people that are teaching photography online have done videos on generative fill, again, in the beta version of Photoshop. To download the beta version of Photoshop, what you want to do is go to your Creative Cloud app, go to the second tab from the left, the Apps tab. Then on the left-hand panel, you're going to scroll down to Beta Apps, and then you can see there's a number of beta apps you could download, including the Photoshop beta. You can see I already downloaded it, so you could download it or install it from here. You can see there's others as well. If you want to install any of those, you can install those as well, as long as you have a subscription that allows you to download, like I have a subscription for all of the Adobe apps, so I could download all these. If you do, you'll be able to download all those as well. So that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.